Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Knowles versus Lindsley. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. and Mrs. Knowles, you previously appeared in court with the defendant for a paternity case involving another child. You're back today because this love triangle has led you to yet another paternity dispute. Mr. and Ms. Knowles, you say you need to prove to Mr. Lindsay that he is not the father of your three-month-old son, Tyler Jr., and believe he's claiming paternity to bust up your happy family. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Mr. Lindsay, you say Mrs. Knowles doesn't want to admit that she was with you and her husband during the same time, and once you're proven to be her child's father, you will fight for custody. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so Ms. Knowles, when you found out you were pregnant, who did you tell? Me. Him. Me. He was in the hospital with <laughs> I was. I was in the hospital room. When I said, who did you tell when you found out you were pregnant, I heard two me's. No, I told Mr. Knowles because he was in the room with me. I was in the hospital room. Okay, did you and later I tell Mr. Him? Lindsley? No, what I did, as soon as I found out I was pregnant, Your Honor, I posted a Facebook post. All my friends talked to him, Mr. Lindsley. All of them. So he could have heard it from I one of the three people a text that message commented. Saying it. that she was pregnant with another child that was more than likely mine. Never said that. You remember getting a text message yes. that said that this child was more have than no likely. I don't more because I don't have that phone because she sort of took the phone when we broke up. But yes, I do remember that. What did you do? I asked her if it was mine or his, and I was told it was more than likely mine, but could have one percent chance of being his. And so, Mr. Lindsley, you insist that this is your biological child. Yes. Tell the court why. Well, according to what I have calculated up and with the uh, evidence that I have here, she was either sleeping with both of us or sleeping with me because she was living at my house during the time that she would have conceded. Really? <laughs> Let me see that. Thank you, Jerome. What does this evidence show me, it's Mr. A calendar. Lindsley? And please describe to the court what it outlines. She claims that she was back with Mr. Knowles around the 22nd of March when she actually didn't move out of my house until closer to the end of April. Really? So she was still living with you through the month of April? Yes. And Honor. Tyler Jr. was born on December 29th? Yes, as far as I'm aware of. Your Honor, no, that's not yes. right. We had pictures of me and the fam me and my other kids and Mr. Knowles in our house be in the later month of March. That can't be. Back from on like March, March 22nd. 22nd. On my Facebook page where I took a picture of me and my oldest on our couch on March 22nd. There's no way. But what, what the issue is, is that doesn't mean but she wasn't still intimate with if, Mr. If Lindsley in April. We were already we, living we, together, we Your were, Honor. We were... She ne There's we no were way. always we, together. We never were separated. We'd walk to the store together. We stayed in the same house. Me and Mr. Lindsley had no contact after I moved out of his house in the middle of March. That's and, not true at all. And, Your Honor, and you never... After that point, after March 22nd, it's your testimony that you never had sex with Mr. Lindsley again. No, Your Honor. And Your Honor, when I when I had my mom go pick up her stuff, all of her stuff was at a different house, not Mr. Lindsley. Yeah, because she apartment. destroyed my house as she moved her stuff out. But that's another story. And so she wasn't even really staying with Mr. Lindsley no, at the time. Was, she was staying with a friend of hers. So then that means that she wouldn't have even been staying with you until the closer met, beginning of May. Me and Mr. Lindsley officially separated in the middle of March. I was living with a, one of my closest friends for like, until like March 22nd. March 22nd, he came and got me from my sisters with his mother and we went and lived with him. During that week, I wasn't with Mr. Lindsley, didn't see him, didn't do nothing. Mr. Knowles was the one that came and seen me and, you know, we talked and worked things out in our marriage and that's when we went and started living together. Now, if you really want to know the truth about it, 
You didn't move out until April because I didn't enroll the kids in school until about the 9th of April, which is what the school papers show. And you was at my house living in the same room with me. Do you remember that? No, Your Honor, because in February, right at Valentine's Day, I only lived with him for a couple weeks after that. He moved his ex in in, I'm gonna say, early March because no. that's when we had our falling out and that's when I got out. He told me to leave, I got my stuff, and I left. So, Mr. Knowles, you are still struggling with this issue with Mr. Lindsley insisting that he fathered your wife's child. Yes. And it's... What is it doing to the family? It's tearing us apart because... That little boy right there, I know he's mine. Mm -hmm. Anybody can tell you he's my child. And why do you know for certain? Look at him. He's got my eyes. He's got my hair. He's got, he's even got my... Your hairline? Yeah, my hairline. Same hairline, that's what you were showing me? <laughs> but he looks like me all around. He's my little prodigy. I just want to get the results, Your Honor, and be done with him, period. It's chaotic. I want to move on with my family and be away from all this. Mr. Lindsley, why do you think she's now saying that there's no possibility? I mean, it's not like this is you guys' first rodeo here. I really don't know why she changes her mind every two months. Why do you say every two months? We'll quit talking for a month, month and a half here and there, and then next I know... I'll get a message from a random number talking about, hi. There is no way, shape, or form I contact this man. I keep so blocking every Google, single number. You don't number. have a Google text message app on nope. one of your phones? No, that sure don't. With? Sure don't. What is going on with you two? <laughs> it's a mess. Just a mess. We want to be done with all this drama because my kids don't need it. They're stressing out enough, wondering what's going to happen with mommy and daddy. But you do admit that at some point this was a love triangle. You're bouncing back and forth. The only time that I went back and forth with anybody is when I was with my exes. And I left them to be with him because I wanted to be happy. There, when I found out I was pregnant with my last child when we came to court, I wanted to make things work before we, you know, came and did all that stuff. And I tried to make it work because work I was happy then for a while. But then stuff started to go downhill and I couldn't take it anymore. We kept fighting over stuff. I seen stuff I didn't like. I just couldn't deal with it. So when the last time we fought, he told me to leave. So I left. And that's when I got back with my husband who really does care about me. And then I kept pushing him away to try to be happy with Mr. Lindsley. And it wasn't working. That's pretty funny I couldn't that you were pushing it. him away to be with me Ms. when I didn't no. know about him for the whole year we was together. And that's a lie and a half because the friend that hooked me and you up started dating even knew about my husband. And that's the truth. But that is what we're here for. Text. We're here for the kid. She sent me a text one day. I, I didn't know who it was because it was a weird number. After me and her separated, I thought she wanted to leave me, so I deleted her number out of my phone. She sent me a text saying, Dustin wants me to get a divorce so we can get married. And Jerome, that... didn't I say this was a love triangle? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. It was... And then you disagree. No, it was there for a while, Your Honor. Yes. But Let I me tell you something. That. Yes, this is exactly while, what me, this is. If you look up love, love triangle, the dictionary right now is your three heads next to it. <laughs> you have the baby and you name the baby Tyler Jr. Yes, Your Honor. Which when she called me about having the baby, she told me a whole nother name. Which name did she tell she didn't you? Tell me she I don't actually remember the exact name she told me, but she did <laughs> okay, not. Okay, but that doesn't Tyler that, Jr. That, that doesn't matter. What matters is what's on his birth certificate. That's right, Mr. That because correct. my name is on his birth certificate. Now, th th what matters in terms of name is what's on the birth certificate, but the truth is that just means it's his legal name. Mm -hmm. Now, as to who his legal father is, that's also listed on the birth certificate. Tyler and that's you. Senior. But that still has absolutely no bearing on who his biological father really is. I still really believe is. I'm his biological father. Mr. Lindsley, after Tyler Jr. was born, 
Did you have a chance to see him? Did you hear of any... I've not seen him in person, no, but I have gotten, received pictures of... Ms. Knowles sent you the pictures? How did you get the pictures? Yes, text message. And what did she say with these pictures? At the time, she told me that she told me that the baby was born, and I said, "Well, what's he look like?" She sent me a picture. I said, "Well, what do you think? Is it mine or his?" She goes, "There's a chance it could be either or." Your Honor, I haven't sent him anything. All of a sudden, I'm mm. sitting on the couch with my husband, and I get a message from Mr. Lindsley saying, "Are you by yourself? You got a new phone number? I've been trying to call you, but..." It's not, it's saying that it's been disconnected. See, that's pretty funny because I really don't ever care if you're by yourself or not when I text you because I'm not texting you for you. I'm texting you to see how the kids that I've helped raise are doing. Your Honor, he wanted me and the kids, to, instead of moving back to my mom's, to move to Florida with him. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got all that Miss. proof. <laughs> Goodness. That's this such a lie. This is just over the top messy. I did just... When does it end? Hopefully today, Your Honor. Hopefully today, because then he has no other reason to contact I mean, from the last time you all were here, this dialogue has not changed one bit. No. It is the same old song. I don't know what it is tying you two together, but I know one thing for sure. There is a possibility it could be this child. Mr. Lindsley, you still maintain, even after Ms. Knowles has tried to correct the timeline you still believe that this is your biological son? Yeah, because she's not telling the truth of the timeline. I'm a woman. I know when I conceive, and I know when I'm pregnant and when I'm not pregnant. Knowing when you conceive... <laughs> I know when I go to the hospital and take with is tests. Different things. The tests that I took, pregnancy tests, don't lie. If it was yours, there would have been... It sh- would have showed up in the beginning of April. It didn't show up until late. April when I was already and with you Mr. Lindsay. you didn't move Lin- out until Mr. late Noles. April, so that makes more sense. I didn't move out of your house until the middle of March. I got back okay. with Mr. Knowles in the last part of March because that's when my family and everybody helped me move into his house. He said she didn't move out of his house until March 22nd when this all started. No, I said she no. didn't move out until the end of April. He said end of April. Well, I heard him. That's you guys true. are saying that you guys got back together the 22nd of March, which you guys could have while I was working 10 hours a day. You weren't even working then. So I wasn't <laughs> working at the car wash? No, you actually weren't that. No. No, nope. I wasn't. When we, Not when I got back together. Chicago, I'll walk uh, over. Working 10 hours a day? Nope. While I'll... you were supposedly sitting at home with the kids? Oh, and with then you... Tyler all of a sudden knew the address of where we was living and... I had to deal with that when I came home one night. Yeah. He didn't know the address of where we were living until it was already over. The day that you kicked me out. So we didn't have to go get <laughs> the oldest from Tyler. Listen, a week listen. And a half I that. can see that we could be here all <laughs> night long. <laughs> and I'm not spending the night with you all. Thank you. <laughs> Mm-mm. When it comes right down to it, it ain't even about the drama between the three of us. It's about that baby. Yes, it is. That's exactly the truth. So before we go to the results, I need you all to agree on two things. Number one, Ms. Knowles, if Mr. Lindsley is the biological father of Tyler Jr., I need you to agree to allow him to see his son. Do you agree? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Lindsley, I need you to agree that if Tyler Jr. is not your biological child, that you will leave Mr. and Ms. Knowles alone once and for all. Would not have a problem with it. All right. With that said, we are in agreement. Let's get some results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Knowles versus Lindsley, pertaining to whether Mr. Lindsley 
or Mr. Knowles, is the father of three-month-old Tyler Knowles Jr. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Knowles. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Knowles. I knew he was my child all along. You said that. Because the way he looks at me, you can see in his eyes the way he looks at me. I know how to, I know everything that kid likes and doesn't like. Mr. Lindsley, we had an agreement. Yep. Congratulations. Tyler Jr. is not your biological son. You have got to leave Mr. Knowles and Ms. Knowles alone. Yes, I, I ain't got a problem. You've got to leave them alone. And Ms. Knowles, I could see a little look of fear and anxiety come over you as I started to read these results. Because you know, and I know, you got some kind of thing for this man. I don't know what it is, and I don't know why it is. <laughs> Focus on your marriage. Figure out how to work through it. I wish you the very best of luck. Court is adjourned.